Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Abercrombie try and haul styling video. I have a bunch of different outfits. I think I have a total of like 12 outfits to share with you guys today. I'm super excited. Um, before I get started, everything that I mentioned that I can link, I will link down below. Um, sizes, all that kind of stuff in case you're interested in shopping anything. And if there's any sales going on, I will also link codes or anything like that that I know of down below. Let's get started because this is going to be a big one. I got some really good stuff. Um, and there's a couple things that I'm on the fence about, so I'm going to need y'all's opinion. So sound off in the comments down below. Let's get started. First thing being this little bodysuit. And honestly, I expected it to have some sort of like wiring, but I'm not mad that it doesn't because it's so comfortable. Um, I didn't wear a bra with this, but if you wear a jacket, you probably could. It has adjustable straps in the back, but it's got this like corset um, design like piping on it. It is so soft and so stretchy and so like cottony. I think it is part of their, yeah, their soft AF collection, soft AF collection. Um, it is a thong style bodysuit. I really like this. The, the, um, straps are not cotton. They're elastic, which I like because they won't like stretch out and get looser over time. So that's really nice. I think there's ways that you can dress it like casual, which I threw on my nineties, um, straight leg jean. I've had these for a little while now. I'm obsessed with them. Um, but I styled them with this and threw on some sneakers and that's like a casual daytime outfit. You could also throw on a leather jacket if it's colder where you live or you can dress it up. I, I just got these jeans that I'm obsessed with, but I do need y'all's opinion. Should I get, I got a 26 regular. Should I get along? They're currently sold out, which I'm really bummed about, but Side note, Abercrombie restocks all the time, so definitely check out, like keep checking back to see if your size comes available. I wish they had like a notify me when, hopefully they'll do that, but these are um, the high rise. They're supposed to go to the top of uh, your leg, but I don't know, that's what it says anyways, that's the fit of them, but I feel like I want them longer, but let me know. Um, I styled this with the black bodysuit and some black heels. They have this piping that goes all the way down the leg, which is super slender. And then it has like a raw hem at the bottom, but it has this slit, which is so in right now. But I'm obsessed with the fact that they're jeans, they're dark black or like a black wash. Um, they're a little bit faded already, but I think it's just so pretty. I absolutely love these. I'm a jean girl through and through. So the fact that you can wear a pair of jeans, but they don't necessarily look like jeans. They're a little bit dressier is what I'm all about. So I dressed up that black bodysuit with these and I'm obsessed with them, but let me know, should I stay with the regular or do I need the long? And then I threw a little suede jacket over the top. That guy's from Amazon. Amazing quality. Absolutely love it. Okay. Moving along to two different little tops that kind of tie around. First one is this white one. You know what? I kind of hate this top. Okay, a couple things. It's really nice quality. It is double lined. It is stretchy, but it's like this material that's like, I don't even know the material or what it is, but I'm imagining it's like polyester probably, uh, or 89% polyester and a little bit of elastane. Um, I just feel like it feels like a, I don't know, gauzy. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. And I just felt like even though it was double lined, I can't wear a bra with it, obviously. I mean, you could wear a strapless bra, but I wouldn't for like seamlessness of it. Um, you could still see, you couldn't see my nipples, but you, I have like a mole on this or like a freckle on my chest and you could see that through it. So you probably could see if you looked hard enough. And the other thing it's with this is it's not like elastic-y in the back. It has a zipper to get in and out of, which I didn't find to be like the most comfortable. And it's almost just a bit too short to tuck into high-waisted jeans. Now, if you're wearing it for a cropped look and that's what you're cool with, cool. I'm just like not comfortable and I know I would, it looked pretty, but I know I would not be comfortable throughout the night. I'd be like trying to push it in and push it down and I just would pass on this. I liked the fact that it was white and I don't have like a white sort of like dressy top and I was looking for one, but I did not like it. Um, I paired it with my Everlane cheeky jeans because now I'm obsessed with these and some nude heels because that's kind of how I'd wear it. But this next top, I love. Okay, I might get this in white as well. This is what I wanted that white top to be, but it's so much more. I love, love, love the fact that it's kind of like a um, like chiffon sort of sleeve. I love the tightness at the, t the bottom and up at the top. 
Um, you could wear a bra with this if you wanted to. I just chose not to. I love this elastic stretchy part in the back that just helps ensure that it fits really well. It's got this super cute tie detail. It is functional, but I mean, kind of, not really. But it has this adorable little peekaboo cutout like right at the top of the abs. And if you have abs, I mean, it'd probably look really good, but I have like a slight tiny tiniest bit up at the top and that's the only place it looks good and that's what I think it looks it's like the smallest part of your waist I'm obsessed with this top it is long enough to fit into cropped jeans and I wouldn't have to worry about it coming up if they have this in white I'm totally getting it in white as well this is just like the perfect like going out sort of nicer top I'm obsessed with it so that I'm definitely keeping for sure all right, this next item, you guys know, if you watch any of my try-on style haul videos, whatever, I'm obsessed with these like satiny, silky shirts, blouses, whatever you call them. I didn't have a black, I don't know how. I have a dark navy, a cream white, a green, a brown. I just didn't have black, like what the heck? So I grabbed this one, I love this. I think it's perfect, tucked into a pair of jeans. I tried out the dad jeans, and y'all, I still don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I love them. You'll have to let me know. These are the dad jeans, high rise. I got them in a size 25, so I did size down from my normal size 26, because I find with these sort of looser fits, I need to. Um, again, the regular I feel like is just almost too short. I'm only 5'5", five five, so I don't know what it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just how it's meant to look. Um, I like the rips on this. I love the color of this. They're stretchy. They're so comfortable. Um, you almost could size down like two sizes. I hate to say that. They would probably be really tight, but like they're very, they're still pretty loose on me even sizing down. Not too loose, they're comfortable. They have a button fly on them, which is really nice. I love the back like sort of um, contouring thing. They're nice. With heels, I just think they might be a bit too short, but you'll have to sound off in the comments down below. But I love a silky blouse with some ripped denim. I just think it looks really, really chic and cute. Okay, I also picked up this little gray sweater. You can wear it two ways, like it's kind of like a mock neck. Um, you can fold it down if you don't want it to be a uh, like mock neck turtleneck thing uh, or you can leave it up for that look. This is the softest sweater I've like ever felt in my life. It is super oversized. I want to say I got an extra small so size down even if you want it to be oversized because it's very large. Um, I want to say this is part of their legging friendly collection. It's got a nice little slit in the side. It's nice. I don't know like if it's a must have. If you don't have good quality sweaters in your collection, I would add it. I already have a couple of gray sweaters from them. So I might look and see what other colors they have. Um, but this is so freaking soft, like so luxurious, so soft, um, just runs very large. So keep that in mind. All right, this next jacket, I'm obsessed with. I did not hop on the Sherpa trend when the Sherpa trend first started. Sherpa is so soft and so cool. I love it. Okay, so it's got the like mossy, sagey green details in the pockets and the zippers and whatnot. It has an elastic at the bottom to kind of cinch it in. If you live in a super cold climate, I don't now, but I used to, and cinching in at the waist is gonna keep all that heat in and just make you so much warmer. The neck collar is so high, which is, I mean, if it's real cold, you could zip it all the way up. Um, I was worried about getting makeup on it if I zipped it all the way up, so I didn't show that. Um, but it's really like the collar is super thick. Inside it's still fleece lined, so it's really, really soft and warm inside as well. I absolutely love this jacket. I got it in a small, it is cropped, but I don't mind that at all because it's not like belly cropped. I paired it with just a bodysuit that I also have from Abercrombie. This is their rib bodysuit. Any body, I mean, any, you can wear whatever underneath it. I just liked that it matched and I love their bodysuits, they're amazing. I'm obsessed with this jacket. I need it in more colors. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's just really good. If you don't have a Sherpa jacket and you feel like you haven't been able to hop on that trend, check this one out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I was. Okay, this next outfit, I know Scott will make fun of me about it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I feel like the trend of like wearing graphic tees, hoodies, whatever is coming back. And it used to be a trend back when I was like in middle school, high school times, but I love it. I absolutely think it's super cute. So I grabbed this Harvard sweatshirt. I think it's 
cute. I know, I didn't go to Harvard. I saw this like TikTok the other day. I don't follow TikTok, but they like load it to Instagram, you know. Um, and it was like, this girl was like, oh, I went there to the girl who's wearing the Harvard shirt. And she's like, went where? And she's like, oh, oh, cool. And I was like, me. Uh, anyways, it is so freaking soft. It's fleece lined, obviously like inside it's so warm it's so cozy it's so soft and i love the vintagey sort of thing i paired it with my h&m mom jeans of course because i feel like that's a very like mom sort of thing to do is wear like a crew neck college sweater with mom jeans <laughs> and then i put my little striped um striped little oxford i think it's yeah it's oversized i got it in a small you could definitely size up or you could definitely size down i went true to size because i did want it to be a bit oversized but i love the look of an oxford poking out of that sweatshirt that used to be a trend back when i was in high school is to wear a sweatshirt with an oxford but it was like a hoodie with an oxford underneath it um super cute look i just feel like it's like dressier but still pretty effortless all right, you guys, I stepped out of my comfort zone again and tried out some dresses. First one I wanted and had such high hopes for, but the way I wanted to style it, I showed you how you can style it two different ways because it's like a crisscross halter. The first way, I love the idea of it. I just feel like maybe my boobs aren't big enough or they're just like gonna fall out or I don't know what's going on. I would have to like tape it down because I just felt very insecure, like, like, I don't know, like I would fall out everywhere, but it is so pretty. I love the silhouette on it. I do wish I had a little slit in the leg that would probably knock it up a notch, but it's still super, super flattering. It's stretchy, but doesn't, doesn't like look stretchy. It's kind of that gauzy sort of material. It is double lined, so not see-through at all. Uh, you also could just do it with the classic um, V-neck, which is cute, but I prefer like the little keyhole up at the top. That's how I wanted to wear it. This is really a pretty dress. It has a zipper to get in and out of in the back, but there is still a little bit of elastic at the back so it fits securely to the back and you don't see like anything. I don't know. I love it, but I just don't know if if it's gonna be practical, but it is super, super cute. So maybe if you have larger boobs, you can make it work. I did wear no bra. I guess I could wear a strapless bra, but I feel like with the sides, it just wouldn't work. Okay, and then I just feel like whenever I have to go to a nice, event like a wedding or something like that. I just don't have things to wear. So when I'm seeing things, now I'm just like picking them up in anticipation of when I will have something to wear. I know it's weird, but this dress I fell in love with. The weight of this is so heavy. It's so thick. It's so nice. I love the A-line or like the, I don't know, slanted neckline with the single strap. It's comfortable. You don't have to wear a bra. You could wear a strapless bra. It is so gorgeous. I love the slit. It's like heavy, so it hangs really well um, and like doesn't, it like sucks you in and like flatters everything. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with this. I think I'm definitely gonna keep this. I've been really impressed with their wedding guest dress section. I think it's amazing. If you haven't tried any of those dresses and you're needing ones to go to weddings, I know weddings are gonna be insane over the next like year or two because everyone's trying to get it in after, you know, the pandemic. Check out Abercrombie's section. I swear you will be thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. All right, I also tried out a skirt. I love this skirt. Okay, it's double lined. It's a satiny like, sh or like chiffon sort of material. It isn't see-through, but it is like, like, what do I wanna say? It's really, really thin. So if you tuck something underneath it, I wouldn't. I tucked my little black sweater, which I already have from them, um, underneath my bra or because this is like kind of a little tight at the bottom, you can just like push it up and it'll stay there. You don't really wanna tuck anything into the front of this because it will show since it is like such a flat line um, skirt. I love, love, love this skirt with um, like thigh high boots, maybe even some like Chelsea boots to dress it down. I think you cannot go wrong with skirts and I like how many skirts are coming back. I think, I really feel like they're super flattering. So I absolutely love that skirt. And I think, I wish they had like a tweed or like a houndstooth sort of print, but I haven't been able to find one on their um, site. But that is such a cute basic. I absolutely love it and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. And then I ventured over to their cozy wear section and, and I know like Skims has been like all the rage, but I'm just like, 
not spending like $200 on a loungewear set. This is so pricey, but it was on sale, so I justified it. I grabbed the little um, set. So the bottoms are kind of like a jogger, but not like tight at the bottom, but they're a full length sort of jogger. On me anyways, they're super, super high waisted. They have pockets. They are the softest thing. They're that same material through and throughout. Like they are so soft and comfy and cozy. I'm obsessed. I love this color that comes in a cream and a pink as well. I grabbed just the basic crew neck. They do have like a slouchy like v-neck if you're interested in that. But this material is so amazing. It's just like literally so squishy. It reminds me of like fuzzy socks, but they made it into a full on sweatsuit. I'm obsessed. So if you're interested in trying out Skims, but you're like not willing to pay the price like me, try out Abercrombie and see what you think of their quality because I think it's really good. So that is everything that I've picked up for my recent Abercrombie haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. It really helps me to know if you want to continue seeing more of these videos. Um, and I love feedback. If you have any opt or any suggestions on different brands or anything like that, let me know again in the comments down below. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, you guys.